From LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica, this is the Midday Report on LA Late. It's a big day. All the LA at home, LA and home street and stimulus. In this recording, we go over the incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2021. In this recording, we go over so much breaking news that's happening right today, and it's brand new. And if you're watching at 11 a.m., it's live. The recon will get past says the President of the United States in a near series of new comments with additional checks being added across the board. Joe Biden, your President of the United States, wants those checks to go out and the Senate would add more checks, including a push for an MSC, so says those senators. The checks are robust and they amount to at least $15,000 before we add in an MSC. I'll go over all the calculations in today's recording and the big push to get it out quickly and across the board. Then we turn to everything the week we have been talking about is predicting across the board and is now happening as well. Third stimulus repeating back under fourth stimulus. The latest details on that. Plus, the big exciting details of student loan debt forgiveness. Fifth stimulus heating up right behind that cola raise. Russia now threatening to invade Ukraine, which I have been telling you over the last few days. I have the latest details on that. Plus, that cola raise. Plus, the new statements for asking for Joe Manch for Joe Biden to really bring in his chief of staff and tell him you need to fix the situation. All the latest details on that as well. But you know what Home in L.A. is about? It is about advocacy. Casey Coons, Warren, Wine, and Sanders and Schumer to include those provisions of that MSC. And you also know what Home is about. It's about home decor, beauty, and more. And in today's recording, we go over the second part of a three-part series about the face. We previously went over how to do great skin. Today we go over how to now prep it and tone out the tones so that you have beautiful tones no matter what climate you are in. And we'll go over ensuring that the eyes are right, even for men. It's very important as we go into a big, bold, beautiful afternoon. And the excitement starts right here, right now. We have a live edition with the latest details with Vladimir Putin potentially invading Ukraine. It's at new time. Hey, good noon time, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful day. And here we are. We're live direct from Santa Monica. If you're watching this at home, and if you're watching late in the day, you're watching Home Stream Stimulus. The recon will pass, says the President of the United States, and the che sent checks being added in there would potentially include an MSC. How much is it? With CR for stimulus now heating up, are the latest details about CR for stimulus that would go on top of the $15,000 of checks already in there and the $45,000 of checks in there as well. That's third stimulus repeating across the board. We have a lot of details live with you direct from Santa Monica, California about CR for stimulus and about everything else that I've been predicting, including, unfortunately, now the indication of that Russia is heading to a potential invasion of Ukraine. I have the latest details at noontime across the board. Student loan debt forgiveness, the latest details on that. Fifth stimulus, the latest details on that. Plus, the Federal Reserve speaking minutes ago that signals that inflationary concerns are such an issue that they may be raising the interest rates in the month of March, no less than about 60 days away. We have all this incredible details in a big, bold, breaking news report. It's live and it's direct and it's brand new. And this is LA. So go into this video right now and subscribe. You're watching the number three most watched financial news channel in America. LA Light. Hit that subscribe button. I want you part of this incredible family. We have a lot of money to go over in this recording and a lot of money for you. I want you to get every penny of that money. Subscribe today. Also, sign up. Also, hit the alert system so you can alert across the board from the LA Light Alerts. Totally free. The link is under the video. And also, like the video. Every like helps in the algorithm rankings. Finally, sign up to become a member so you can get the incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alert system and the LA alert alert system that signals how you get all these incredible sums of money across this recon. We can go over each of these checks, get your pen and paper ready with three clusters 
three add-ons, and we're going to start with each of them right now, at least $15,000 of checks. It is Incredible Recon. Here we go. Cluster number one. Hazard pay got in there. One more year, the earned income tax credit extended under third stimulus. This would also be there under fourth stimulus for my essential workers. $4,000 of elder care, $4,000 of care for young children, $550 check for the Pell Grant recipients, college students. Wow, it got in there as well. $12,500 for the purchase of a new electric vehicle. They got home repairs in there. Yeah, it's incredible. Home repairs to repair your home free if you live in a low-income community. They got nutrition in there as well. And that is the first of three clusters. There's a lot of checks that amount to at least $15,000. But let's go to the first add-on of checks. It came from the illustrious Maxine Waters here in Southern California. She wanted to give you $25,000. She got a little bit less. What is this for? for? This is purchase of your first home. Wow, you heard me right. This is money that goes from the federal government to the seller in your name at the time of escrow for the purchase of your first home. It's incredible. Now, let's go to the second cluster of three clusters of checks. It's getting even better by the minute. Stay with me because we have a lot of checks in this recon. We're going to go over them and the push to get the checks out even sooner. With CR for stimulus is coming up in this recording. Stay with me to the very end. And let's go to the second cluster. Home repairs and paid leave. Paid leave, what is this? If you have to stay home because of sickness or illness, that's $700 a week, $1,700 a week. Yeah, you heard me why. It's incredible, a lot of money. If you make $70,000 or more per year, if you make $35,000 or more per year, it's $800 a week. If you make $400, if you make $15,000 a year, it is $400 a week. How many weeks per year? Up to four weeks per year. So it's five to $6,000 on the high end. Then, if you don't work but your son or daughter does, they're going to get the check if they have to stay home due to taking you to the doctor once a week. It's incredible. They got in there also weatherizing your home. Weatherize your home is to sustain natural disasters, which is like when uh, Mitch is on Star Search singing. <laughs> Yeah, they got that in there as well. Now, the second add on a checks comes from the incredible Bob Casey out of Pennsylvania. This is $250 billion to for free home health care. Free. You heard me right. F-R-E-E. If you're a senior and people on disabilities, it's incredible. This is a Joe Biden campaign promise. Let's go to the third cluster of checks. It's getting deliciousness right now. In that third cluster, we have free internet and seniors' money. So let's go over each of these incredible checks one at a time. In that third cluster, we have free school meals for all checks. We have the free internet checks. We have the cheaper prescription medication. More about that later in this video. Stay with me. I got a lot of checks coming up later in this video. We have the farmer's checks, the independent contractor's checks, and the seniors. Not a check, but a benefit. And the comparison is very clear. House versus Senate. Well, on the House side, they got in there two provisions. The Medicaid gap fix, more about that later. later. And the hearing aid, totally free. Sedge is vowing to do three more for my seniors. Dental, vision, and lowering the eligibility age of Medicare from 65 to 55. Which is par for the course of what we're talking about when we talk about the addition as well on the Senate side of, you know the words, MSC. Let's go over who gets the MSC, but start first with what is it, then we're going to go over how much, then we're going to go over the how, the when, the voting, and the CR for stimulus that's captivating a nation right today. First, let's go over what a MSC is. It's an acronym that refers to monthly or multiple IRS stimulus check. The keyword is the IRS part. Why? Because in this four stimulus recon, L aka the Build Back Better Act, aka the social spending bill, there's a lot of checks in there. There are multiple checks in there. So we don't want to get those confused with this, which refers to checks that come out from IRS. Okay, pretty simple. So now let's go over who gets it. Though Sanchez is the month of May 2021 said that the eligibility would be the same as a third stimulus check. So let's go over that eligibility. Very simple. Single individual, $75,000 or less, you get it if that's your annual income. Married couple, if your annual income is $150,000 or less, you get as well. Double it. Family of four, quadruple it. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security or Railroad benefits or Veterans benefits, you get it as well. Adult dependents would also get it across the board. Here are some nuances. Is it income? It's not. 
Is it taxable? No, because it's not income. Is it state by state? No, it's nationwide. It's sent out by the federal government. Do you have to do anything for it? No, if they already know you're alive, then you don't have to do anything for it. There you go. So then we go to the important part of the equation, which is the how and the when. First, let's go over the when and the body of legislation initially at issue. Forced and was recalled and first unveiled on this channel in spring of 2021 was an expression I coined here to refer to the Build Back Better Act. But the body of legislation is still called, really, the Build Back Better Act. Where is it and what is it? It's a body of legislation passed in the House in November of 2021. But you know that for something to become a law, it has to be passed by the House, passed by the Senate, and signed by the President. Every step is required. So it was passed by the House in the month of November, then sent to the Senate. At that point, the Senate would normally start to make modifications, but they did not. Not because they don't care, not because they're dragging their feet, but because there's a lot of nuances at issue. There's a lot of inroads that they have to go over. And the great news is the President of the United States addressed these inroads in the last seven days. His chief, his uh, spokesperson, Andrew Bates, addressed the nation, said the President is getting that recon done. The Build Back Better Act will pass, and there you go. So when would this go for a vote? How would it go for a vote? What do you need to know? It's in the Senate, and the Senate has vowed to add a lot of additional checks to that recon. Now let's understand, later in this video, we're going to go over all these incredible checks in this foursome's recon passed in the year 2021 in the House side. It's this thick, just part of it. And so the provisions written on the House side are 2021 House written provisions. They're stayed in there. That's easy. They may get enhanced or broadened, but they're stayed in there. The Senators, however, vowed to add additional checks, whether it's Ron White and Bernie Sanders, Chuck Schumer. They out to add, vowed to add a lot of other checks, programs or checks or things like that. That event has not happened. When would that event happen? That event would happen when it goes to the Senate subcommittees, and then they modify the legislation. Like the Senate Budget Committee, Budget Committee, led by Bernie Sanders, they would modify the legislation, say, now we have a Senate bill. At the time of this recording, we don't have a Senate bill. So if you have the water cooler at lunch break today and someone says it's not in there, the response to that viewer is, or that person is, there is no there. We don't have a bill yet. When we have the bill, it will be in there. Then, what happens next? Senate floor vote. Then after that, what next? A two-day voter in which the Senate votes on changes, additional changes, that they didn't get during those Senate subcommittees. Very simple across the board. That is the Build Back Better Act, a.k.a. the BBB. But it was last weekend that I said to viewers, do you want to try to do this as another way? Do you want to try to do this another way? And I just posed the question. And viewers overwhelmingly said yes. The other way that I came up with last weekend was something I came up in December of 2020 with and you and I changed American history. In December of 2020, I had been reporting months, upwards of about six months, of coverage of what was to be the second stimulus package. I was exhausted from Nancy Pelosi and Steve Mnuchin negotiating day in, day out, and not getting it done, the second stimulus package. By December 2020, I had had enough. So I said to myself, we need a check. We need a stimulus check. Where could we get a stimulus check in there that would go out very quickly? And more importantly, something I did not make clear in the last few days, my mindset at the time was, what would require something to be done urgently? And they couldn't put on a back burner. We had been dealing with that throughout 2020. Guess what? We're dealing with it right today as well. And I saw a looming deadline. We love deadlines because deadlines force legislators to work very quickly. And in some cases, they have to work very quickly. And what is one of those cases? When the federal government's going to default. When the federal government doesn't have money to run itself. It's called a continuing resolution, CR. The deadline at that time was December 2020. A CR deadline was coming up, money to run the federal government. It's a bill. It's called the CR, in which they put money in there to run the federal government. And I came up with the idea one particular recording. I said, hey, you know what? I have an idea. Let's push them to put a stimulus check in the continuing resolution, the CR. And start a hashtag campaign called hashtag C, like Charles, R, like Robert, the number for 
Stimulus, S-T-I-M-U-L, S. I just butchered that, didn't I? S-T-I-M-U-L-U-S. I'm not winning any spelling award anytime soon. And I said, let's tweet it. Let's call them up. Let's push. Let's push them to put a stimulus check in a continuing resolution. Immediately, Americans and viewers of this channel did. You pushed. And we really pushed. And it immediately caught fire. It caught fire in both a positive and a negative way. The negative way I was predicting. It doesn't belong in there. <laughs> I was predicting that one. Why? Because it doesn't belong in there. It's a bill to fund the federal government. And why is a check going to the American people and a bill that funds the federal government? But I was already ready for the answer. You've been doing this for years. Congress, you've been doing this for decades. You always have bills where things are in there that don't belong in there. In the middle of the pandemic, you were doing this every single 10 seconds. We had COVID relief bills where they're sending money to the foreign governments. We had COVID relief bills where they were building the FBI buildings. We had COVID relief bills where they were funding the Department of Trademark and Copyright. Mm. You can do it for us as well. It don't belong in there, but you could put it in there. And we can get a check out of it. And suddenly one morning we woke up and they said, you know what? We're putting stimulus in the CR. We thought, thank goodness, they heard us. And we read a little bit longer and they said, we're putting an extension of unemployment benefits stimulus in there. And I said, oh, that's nice, but that's not what we're asking for. We're asking for a stimulus check. And we pushed. It got in there. Then it got removed. Then we pushed again and it got in there. The $600 stimulus check of December 2020, which ultimately was called, in many cases, the second stimulus check of $600, was the brainchild of me. I came up with the idea, and the Purple Power pushed it out. Last weekend, I was going through my notes to go on air, and I had quotes from Bernie, I had quotes from you know Liz White, the same quotes I always, you know, looking ready to give you, but they were new ones. And I saw in my notes in here, there's a deadline coming up. <laughs> Uh, what? Which deadline? A deadline to fend the fund, the federal government. <gasps> Again? Yeah, it happens almost every six months. February 18th, approximately. I said, do you want to do CR for Stimulus 2022? Do you want to push and just get one stimulus check in there? Because understand, we ain't putting $50,000 of stimulus checks in this in a continuing resolution. Understand, they're not doing reoccurring checks. It's a federal budget bill to run the federal government. We can get one check in there. Do you want to do it? Viewers overwhelmingly said yes. Viewers, I was asking them in the live chat, do you want to do it? I was asking them to send me private messages. Do you want to do it? I was asking them to post on Twitter and so Facebook and, and social media. CRs for stimulus. Hashtag CR for stimulus. Do you want to do it? They said yes. And there we go. It's already almost trending. The concept put a stimulus check into the continuing resolution budget bill due in just a few weeks from now. And then when you get to the fourth stimulus recon, thereafter, the Build Back Better Act, then you could send out the MSC. You could send out the massive payouts across the board. You could do it then. And viewers have resonated. On afternoons, I like today at 3 o'clock, which will be brand new, and evenings, I like, which will be brand new as well at 5 o'clock. We're going to go over more about that CR for stimulus. We're going to go over more about the world events, but I want to give you a brief overview of what's happening. You know what Home Analyte, which you're watching right now, is about. Home Analyte's first half of the show is about your money, and the second half is about home and food and decor and all that wonderful, fun stuff. But let me tell you some stuff that's not particularly fun. Over the last week, I was predicting a series of financial events that could happen. And guess what? Unfortunately, I got it right again. Unfortunately, I got it right. Vladimir Putin is looking closer and closer to invading, potentially, Ukraine. There's been negotiations with Vladimir Putin in the last 24 to 48 hours, and they're not going well. I've been reporting this for over a week, and immediately the stock market was not doing well today. Crypto was hurting all weekend long. It's very bad news. That's the first one. The second one is Federal Reserve is now signaling that the inflationary concerns are so strong. Inflation is so hot, so robust. They have to come in with that interest rate spike a little bit earlier than we would have thought. I would have never believed that even in March 2022, we would actually, well, we're in January and we're talking about March. Then in January 2022, I would be telling you that, that now we're ready for an interest rate spike. It was less than, what, two weeks ago that said we're still talking about tapering before we talk about interest rate spikes? Yeah. So we have a triple whammo, actually a quadruple whammo. Number one, interest rate spikes now coming in March. 
Very big issue about that. How it impacts your wallet. Stay tuned. Afternoons in LA at 3 o'clock. I'll cover it. Number two, inflation getting more robust because of Omicron. That's going to be covered tonight on afternoons, on afternoons and evenings at 5 o'clock. It's brand new. Number three, the concerns addressed by this channel over the last six days, five days about Ukraine potentially being invaded by Vladimir Putin now looking like a potential reality of a rumor rumor versus news i'll go over its impact but immediately its impact on the financial markets being felt and number four the issue of all this being addressed with ron clay the president's chief of staff really not being looked upon well of all this incredible neat details coming up to this afternoon on Afternoons at Light, it's brand new at 3 o'clock and the evenings at Light at 5 o'clock. But after the commercial break, we're going to come back into this recording, give you a little bit more overview about your checks. And then we're going to jump into this continuation of Home at Light where we left off last weekend, which was about the skin. Had to get very great skin last time we talked about how to prep it. Now we're going to talk about how to make sure that all the tones are level, no spottiness, no no bliss, no no um, imperfections. It's very fun. It's for men and women. It's coming up after the commercial break. But first, here's a little bit about the community page. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds with more about your money and as Home Ally continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. Any excitement? Continues right now as afternoon heats up in a big second half. The recon will get passed across the board. That's what you need to know. And the big checks that will be added to that would be at least the MFC, says the legislators, and thereafter the incredible third stimulus as well. But in the second half of this video, we're going to go over advocacy for that MSC, advocacy for CR for stimulus, and then we're going to jump into the second big part of home decor and home uh, for you as well but first i want you part of this incredible family go under the video right now and subscribe you're watching allied america's number three most watched financial news channel america live in the morning like right now and taped in the afternoons coming up next is a brand new afternoons allied at three o'clock it's going to be a rush to get on air but i'm going to get it to you then we have evenings allied at five o'clock brand new as well we have a new, we have Afternoons LA 1 o'clock edition coming up right after this video. It'll automatically take you there. And don't forget, we got six, seven, eight o'clock shows as well on evenings before we go into overnight shows across the board. And with that, let's go into advocacy and who you advocate for that MSC. You want to advocate to Casey, Coons, Warren, Wyden, Sanders, and Schumer. Pick up the phone and speak to their staff once a week. At, mo at least to advocate why you want provision in this recall because they need to know that you still need it. Casey Coons, Warren, Wyden, Sanders, or Schumer. Don't be calling and asking, is it in there? Because the there does not exist. Rather, say why you need it and why it's important for you and your family 
to have it added across the board. Perhaps you have suffered Omicron. Perhaps your family members have suffered Omicron. Maybe your economic situation is different. Pick up the phone and advocate across the board. And as we go into the big second half of this video, directed live from Santa Monica, California, we're continuing our installment that we started last weekend when we talked about skin. We're going to continue with it right now <laughs> because skin is money. And last weekend, when we were talking about skin, I was talking about how to prep the skin. We went over cleaning the skin, making sure it's smooth, and make sure it's moisturized. Very part of your daily routine. Trust me, it costs pennies, pennies on the dollar to have good, moisturized, healthy skin. And if you start at a relatively good age, you're going to have great skin later in age across the board. Very, very important. And people wonder, how come you're not aging? Because you just took really good care of your skin. Today, in today's recording, we continue it with now that you prep the skin, how do you keep the skin looking in the same tones? I'm going to go over all those incredible details starting right now. I saw a lot of people in the live chat in the commercial break talking about where they are, the weather, 20 degrees, 30 degrees below zero. It's cold outside. It's cold outside. And if it's cold outside, you know there's two negatives to that. One, you may be ghostly white. And number two, you may also be dry because you're inside and there's a lot of heat blowing, space heaters or furnaces, so you may be dry. So what are the routines to consider now that you know how to keep that skin moisturized, clean, and ready to rock and roll. These are among the products that I have defaulted to for many, many years. There is many ways to keep your skin tones looking natural and supple and equally leveled out without any sun exposure. And they are creams that have a little bit of tint in them. Now, there's a lot of products in the market, I got to tell you. There are tons of products on the market. I'm not gonna tell you which ones are bad, but there's a lot of products that basically have cream with a little bit of tint. You put it on and you seem like you spent money on something that does absolutely nothing. It's just basically cream. It's all it is. You don't wanna buy cream when you can buy cream for 50 cents and then simply put it on. You don't want you don't want 50 cents cream you're spending $5 for. So you wanna make sure the product actually works. Here's one of the first points I wanna to go to is that a lot of products out there, which I'm going to go over, often have uh, nomenclature, letter wording, that says uh, medium or deep. As you know, as you can tell by my skin tone, I'm a relatively light skin tone person. I always go for deep. The medium is so ridiculously light that the medium doesn't do anything. Here's another trick to the trade. If the medium is too dark for you, you can lighten it up by adding a cream into it, your 10 cent cream, and lighten it up. Or do it less often. Always go for the deep. The deep is generally not any more expensive than the medium. All right, that's the first issue. Second, there is a mixture of both creams and, and oils. And in the last video, and I told you it was going to be a little bit of overlap, I went over one product that starts as an oil because some people need it as initially uh, because of their skin. Some people have dry skin, some people have oily skin. I have dry skin. And because I'm in front of production lights, which you can't see, and they are strong, and I have fans blowing, it, it, it dries the skin. So I usually start the end of the day with this product, which is um, made by Tanologists. And it's Express Tan. It's in, actually in Target. It ain't cheap. It's about $16. Uh, it does last a long time. It lasts maybe three months. So it does last a long time. It's a foam. It's a pump. <laughs> foam, put it on the face. And restores oils, plus gives you a little bit of color. Now, on the scale of how much color it gives you, 1 to 10, it gives you like a, a, a 1.5. Not a lot of color. Not a lot of color. But it really evens out the skin. So this is what we're going for. Evening out the skin color. So I know a lot of people in my live chat because I see them on Facebook, I follow them on Facebook. Some of you are very, very light skin. This will just sort of even out your skin color. It won't give you much of a color at all, but it will even it out. That's an example of something that really, really works. Now, that is usually what I start with. Wash it off. Leave it on. Uh, oh, by the way, how long do I leave it on? Uh, this one you really should only leave on for a short period of time. Uh, about an hour, most, and then I wash it off. Then, what are the next products to choose from? All right, so these are products, I'm gonna go over how you choose your products, there are other products out there, and how do you apply them? Because no one teaches anyone about this. No one explains anyone how you do these things. These are products that 
there are different times of the day you can apply it. Let me go over what I recommend for you. For face or body, I recommend the best time to apply it is right before bed, leave it on, and, and wash it off the next morning in the shower. Now, I understand it's going to make the pillow covers a little bit dirty. It may make the, the, the bed sheets a little bit dirty. It's not that much, not intolerable. It's just a little bit. Um, the reason why is because if you're sleeping eight hours, it's in there. It just sort of settles in, and it works really great. Then when you wash up the next day, you feel great. You feel moisturized, and you're ready to rock and roll for almost a week and a half, uh, at least a week. So here's the first product. It's made by Banana Boat. I really like it. It is, I chose Deep again. Uh, it is very, very cheap. Depending on where you buy it from, it should be about 4 to $6 for this. How long does this last you? If you're just doing face, um, this could last you almost three months. If you use the full body, then maybe it lasts you maybe two weeks. Um, it's Deep. Now, on the level of, now this is very important. And you're not going to find this information really anywhere else. When you're comparing how much color you're getting out of something, this one, just uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, maybe like a 3. Now, remember, this one, a scale of 10, I think I said to you, was 1 or 2. It was very low. This one's about a 3. So if you're looking for a deep tan, you ain't getting it from this. But if you're looking for a complete uh, uh, equalizing of the skin tone, which a lot of people have this issue of, you know, your, your skin tone is just sort of not... It is sp sporadic. It really evens you out well. Okay, here's another trick. And you're not going to hear this anywhere else. If you're going to do it in the evening before you go to bed and you put it on the face, put it on the face, wash the hands a lot. Now, let me make this very clear. You put it on the face, wash the hands incessantly. Because if you have residue in the hands, it'll get in the elbow, it'll get in the corners of the hands. Then, here's another trick. Use a blow dryer and apply it to the face just for a second to dry and make sure it's set. Don't go jumping on the pillow and going to bed right away because then you're rubbing back and forth and it hasn't set in. I like the blow dryer. If it's a summer, I've done this before. If it's a summer, it's too hot to use a blow dryer, use a fan. The fan works as well. These are all tricks of the trade. All right, that is on the very, very mild level of coloring. If you've never done any of these things, you may want to start with a banana, banana boat because it, it is just, it is a no-brainer. Um, then... After you sort of gotten used to that, you want to go up to a notch, then I like this one a lot. And here's an example of pricing. I'm going to go over this in a second. This is L'Oreal Paris Sublime Bronze uh, Deep. Now, of all the products out there, this is the best. It is the best because, in my opinion, it is the deepest. You get the deepest coloring of the of your bang for your buck. You can always lighten it up. Remember, you can always thin it out. You can lighten up, do it less regularly. It is brilliant. It is absolutely brilliant. Now, let me go over pricing these products because this is very funny. These products have this insane gamut of pricing. I can get this product. No, let me say it this way. I, I can go searching on this product in a live stream right now and show you that in some places you can get this product for $7.00. One, and other places they'll charge you $45 for one. I mean, it's just, it's wacko. The markup in some of these third-party retails is insane. So what I want you to know is that this should be priced at about eight. This one should be priced at about four, four or five. And this one should be priced at about 15. Um, and if you think you're looking at something that's overpriced, you probably are. Try another retailer. Um, also, here's another trick of the trade. Do not buy it from, uh, I was going to name the site, but I don't want to do that. Do not buy it from places where it's a used version where they're reselling it. You want to get it directly from the, um, from the, the, the distribution company. So you want to get it from a Target or Walmart or, some, or Amazon. You do not want to get it from these third parties where it may have sat around for six months. Mm, it, it may, it, it may go bad. So don't do that. And there you go. That is how you start and you rock and roll. It's a no-brainer. And trust me, if you're in a cold weather climate, you're drying out, your skin is getting dried out from the heat and the, and, and the wind uh, or the, the furnace in the home, you will really like this the first time. And 
you can always start a little bit and then take it there from a notch. Here's some other tricks of trades. When applying things for the face, make sure the hair is fully back. So make sure the hair is fully back when you're applying it. Put it on and rock and roll. All right, here we go to another subject matter that may be sensitive for some people, but I'm not shy for dealing with sensitive subjects. In recent uh, years, if you look at professional athletes, the ones that make big bucks, 30, 40, 50 million dollars a year, they have all now, from whether United States athletes or international athletes, they now focused really big time on making sure their skin and face looks good. And I'm talking about men. They really do it. These are married men with, with 10 kids and they got big international contracts. They want to make sure their skin looks good. And a lot of um, people have, they're born with imperfections. And one of the imperfections they're born with is darkness under the eyes. Some people just have it. They know they have it. They can't get rid of it. So one of the big products that is very, very big internationally for men, especially among professional soccer male players in, in Europe, is creams or applicants that go under the eye that's, that removes that, that darkness. Now, here, if you're a man or woman, here are some tricks of the trade. There's a lot of ways to do this with pennies on the dollar if it works, and if it doesn't, then we ramp it up a notch. To, and we talked about this on, on the prior segment. If you have wrinkles on the eyes, if you have sagging, if you have darkness, try the cheapest darn cream you have sitting around the house. Try the simplest darn cheapest cream you have around the house. Apply and let it sit in there. Put a lot. If it works, you're done. <laughs> And that's why you watch those ridiculous infomercials on TV that says they spent $55 creams and they put it under their eyes. So look at all the, the wrinkles that disappear. If you're dry skin and you're wrinkling and you put $2 cream on, you will stop wrinkling in about 10 seconds. That is not the mystery of TV. That is just how the, the body works. Now, uh, if you put it on and you still see the darkness coming through, then you may want to default to something like this. This is very much the case of what professional male athletes are now using internationally. The, the words are very complicated. They mean a lot of different things, a lot of different people. Sometimes they change the words. The most common word is concealer. And I know that's just a horrible word to use because concealer sounds like powder. It ain't a powder. Um, it, it, the, the, the best word is um, also under the eye or dark spot um, corrector. They use the word corrector. You're looking for something that refers to under the eye. And these are best worked when they are, they have a, a point to them so that you can sort of get it in there, you apply it, and it, and it, it, it levels itself out. The hardest thing for this, the hardest thing for this is not finding it, is not buying it. It's not the price point because these things are very cheap. This is about $4. The problem, the hardest thing about it is getting the right, uh, is getting the right tone. Now, here is a trick. Do these things work for that as well? They do. They do. So no one tells you this. <laughs> no one tells you this except me. If you have spots, if you have dark lines underneath the eyes, you try the simple $2 cream you have sitting around the house. It doesn't work. Then bring in some of your, um, some of your sunless tanning creams and do it the whole, the whole face, but actually make sure you got enough under the eye, under the eyes, down under here. And that may work. It absolutely does miracles, and you won't need anything else. You won't need anything else. Now, in the case of some people who have very, very bad situations for that, or they've not prepared ahead of time, because this you'd have to do the day before, two days ahead of time, and you're like, oh, I'm running out. Look at these horrible things on my eyes. Or uh, I'm about to go to a, a wedding. I have a wedding shoot, and I'm not ready. Uh, then you may have to do something for this. And these are among the concealers you can use. Coming up today, we have a lot coming on this channel. We have a brand new afternoon's LA at 3 o'clock and a brand new evening's LA at 5 o'clock. Here's what you need to know. One, continuing resolution, CR for stimulus, heating up. Brought on this channel back last weekend, it's the push to put a stimulus check, not an MSE, but just one, into a continuing resolution bill, which has a February deadline just a few days away. The push is underway once again for this channel to potentially get history done one more time. This would not negate any other checks in the Force Stimulus Recon. Just get this one out now, 
and then come back and do the big recon thereafter. Number two, big concerns, which I predicted on this channel the last seven days are unfortunately now manifesting themselves. There's new, new indication today that negotiations with Vladimir Putin have fallen apart over Ukraine. NATO forces, the UN, the US, even China are now part of the equation as to what will be happening with Vladimir Putin if he does go after a potential invasion of Ukraine. It will impact your wallet and impact a lot of things. Ukraine is a very, very important economic subject. It impacts the gasoline. It impacts uh, embargoes. It impacts financial markets. And this is as the Federal Reserve is indicating in the last few hours just today that it's likely to raise the first interest rate spike in March of 2022, not 2023. Faster, quicker, more robust than initially thought. Inflation is really hitting hard as Omicron is still kicking us and putting its staffers out 20 to 30 percent across the board. Meantime, what about that incredible recon? Tonight on Afternoons LA at 3 o'clock in Eames LA, we'll go over more about this equation about Ron Klain, the president's chief of staff, who is really not prioritized well, isolated moderate Democrats, appeased progressives too much, and has left bodies of legislation simply in flux. Viewers understood the problem of Klain in the last two days. The question is whether the president will understand the significance as well. I have all those incredible details in a brand new afternoons and evenings recording as well. But boy, join me next as a 1 o'clock evenings ally heats up right after this video. It'll automatically take you there. And with that, I want you part of this incredible family, so hit the subscribe button. 400,000 subscribers to YouTube record you're watching. LA, the number three most watched financial news channel in America, live in the morning, taped in the afternoons. Coming up next is the 1 o'clock afternoons ally. Like the video, every like helps, and consider becoming a member of Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Casino VIP. Stay informed, stay focused, have a beautiful day, and stay with Ally for more.